Hi, in this video I want to show you how to find center of gravity of a triangle. Now we have two cases, one is point mass center of gravity in which the masses are located at the vertices and the second one is area mass center of gravity in which the mass is distributed across an area. Now if these weights are equal and if the mass here in this case distributed uniformly then we can show that both of these center of gravities are actually one point. And this point is the intersection of medians of the triangle. Now the median is a line which connects each vertex to the midpoint of the opposite side. So for example, M is midpoint of BC, AM is the median that comes from vertex A. From simple geometry, we can show that medians are concurrent. They intersect at one point. And this point is actually center of gravity of both of these scenarios. Now in this video, I'm going to show this to you. Okay, so the first case is point mass center of gravity. Let's consider triangle ABC and equal masses are connected at vertices A and B and C. Now the center of gravity of B and C would be at midpoint of BC. This is because we assume that same weights are connected at B and C. Now the total center of gravity of this triangle will be somewhere along this line. But this line is the median that's coming from the vertex A. So we know that center of gravity of this triangle is along the median coming from vertex A. The same way we can say that center of gravity of the total triangle would be along the median that comes from the vertex C and also along the median that comes from the vertex B. The only point that fulfill all these conditions is the, is the intersection of the three medians. So what we can say is that uh, G, which is the intersection of medians, is the point mass center of gravity of the triangle. If we have the coordinate of the vertices, A and B and C, we can actually calculate the coordinate of the center of gravity. Now we have to use this formula. So the X component of the coordinate would be the summation of masses at each vertex multiplied to the X component of that uh, vertex divided by the total mass and the same way for the Y component. Now, because we assume that same masses are connected to each vertex, so in this case, we have MXA plus MXB plus MXC divided by the total mass on this triangle, which is 3M. That gives us the X coordinate. We can simplify this. So we have the X component of the coordinate would be XA plus XB plus XC divided by 3. And the Y component would be YA plus YB plus YC divided by 3. Now, with this, we have completed the point mass center of gravity of a triangle. Now we continue with the area mass center of gravity. The second case is area mass center of gravity. First, I find the area mass center of gravity for a right triangle, and then I expand it to a general triangle. So here is my right triangle. One side is A, one side is B. I put one corner at the origin. We can easily show that the equation of this line is y equal b divided by a time x. Now, in order to find the center of gravity, we have to use these formulas just to explain one of them. Let's take a mass piece, uh, so this green one. We first find the center of gravity of this mass element. That is the midpoint of this because it's a rectangle. And we take the x coordinate of that, so that is x hat multiply to the weight of this element, to the mass of this element, that is dm. And we have to sweep it over the whole object. So that's the integration that we have. At the end, we divide it by the total mass of the object. That gives us the x-coordinate of the center of gravity of this object. The same way we can calculate the y-coordinate of the center of gravity. Now, because we assume that um, the mass is distributed uniformly across this object, we can actually replace the masses with the area. So x coordinate will be integral of x hat times dA divided by A in the same way for y coordinate. Now we have to calculate x hat. As I said, this mass element is a rectangle, so the center of gravity is at midpoint. So x hat is midpoint of A and x x hat is actually this length plus this length 
this length is a minus x divided by 2 as I have it here and this length is x so x hat is a plus x divided by 2 dA is the area of the mass element which is basically the the length multiplied to the height so it's a minus x multiplied to dy as we have it here dy we can calculate it easily from this equation we can differentiate both sides so dy is b over a d, dx now we place all of them into this formula basically we have the x coordinate of the center of gravity is integration from 0 to a 0 to a because um, x is moving from 0 and then it eventually gets to a so this is a plus x divided by 2 a minus x dy and this is the total area of the triangle which is 1 over 2 a b i can replace dy here b over a dx and here i can do a bit simplification so 1 over 2 disappears with 1 over 2 b with b disappears and a with a is a2 so we get to this equation and then we can easily integrate it basically we get to this equation which is a2 times x minus x3 divided by 3 and we have to evaluate it from 0 to a now when we put it 0 then everything is 0 when we put it a then this gives us 2 over 3 a3 divided by a2 which after simplification you have x coordinate will be 2 over 3 a and y coordinate will be 2 over 3 b now this x coordinate and y coordinate is from the corner side if i want to calculate from the right angle side then obviously for example for the x coordinate i have to write the total length a minus this one so this is what you see mostly in internet and in literature basically the x coordinate is 1 over 3 a if you look from this side and similarly for y coordinate is 1 over 3 b if you look from this side you can easily show that this point is indeed the intersection of medians of this right triangle but i want to first generalize it and then i will show that in the next slide so now for a general triangle abc we can divide it into two right triangle so ahc and ahb and the area mass center of gravity here is for example g1 and for this one is g2 so we know that now the total center of gravity will be somewhere along this line now if i make a perpendicular line from g1 to bc this is g1 h1 we know that this length is a third of a h as we have shown before and because this is perpendicular this is also perpendicular so these two are parallel the same way g2 h2 also is a third of a h and also is perpendicular so this is also parallel so what we can see that g1 h1 is actually equal and parallel with g2 h2 which means g1 g2 h2 h1 is a rectangle this means g1 g2 is parallel with bc and also because this ratio is 1 over 3 and this line is parallel with bc we know that this line would also divide the sides into the ratio 1 over 3 so this to the total is 1 over 3 or this to the total is 1 over 3 now instead of using this altitude we can use other altitude like this one and the same way we can show that the total center of gravity of this triangle will be somewhere on on this line which is parallel with ab and divide the sides into the ratio 1 over 3 or 1 over 3 and the same way we can say that the the total center of gravity will be on another line which is parallel with rc and divides the sides into the ratio 1 over 3 here i have those three lines so we have shown that area mass center of gravity of this triangle is actually the intersection of these three lines with simple geometry actually we can show that these three lines are always um, concurrent now the the last part of the proof is that to show this point is the same point as intersection of the median of triangle abc to do that what i do uh, i connect a to g and i extend it 
to intersect BC at point M. Now I show that M is the midpoint of BC. Because TG is parallel with BC and the ratio of AT to AC is 2 over 3, so the ratio of TG to CM would be 2 over 3. So that is basically TG is 2 thirds of CM. Now TG is parallel with BC, SG is parallel with AC, so TGSC is a parallelogram, which means TG is equal to CS. This is what I have here. And also from before we said that this line divides the size into the ratio 1 over 3. So CS is a third of BC. So we can see that TG is two thirds of CM, TG also is one third of BC, which means CM is half of BC. So the same way we can show that if we connect C to G and extend it, this one is actually the median that comes from the vertex C. And also the same way, this one is median that comes from the vertex B. So this point, this G is indeed the intersection point of the median of the triangle. With this, we have shown that the point mass center of gravity of a triangle and also the area mass center of gravity of a triangle is the point of intersection of the median of the triangle.